For many high school students, college is simply the next step to follow. But for a select few, it's the first chance to lead. If you're looking to make a difference, not only for yourself, but for your nation, the NROTC program can be your distinct path of purpose. Your four-year journey to becoming a Marine officer begins on a college campus. The NROTC program is a great program for any students that are pursuing a college education. This program gives them the best of both worlds. They get to go to college, the education is completely paid for, and then following that, they get to do something honorable like serve their country. The first requirement for a high school student to consider the NROTC program is if they have a desire to lead Marines. Students that uh, apply and are accepted to this program are really the top-notch students across the country. In addition to their normal coursework responsibilities, Marine Option Midshipmen must maintain strict physical fitness standards and successfully complete classes that cover naval science, ethics, management, and maritime warfare. The misconceptions about the program are that it's boot camp every day. What they don't realize is they have a pretty normal lifestyle. They go to school during the day, they study at night, and then in the summers, that's when they're really expected to learn and start becoming an officer. The NRTC program doesn't hinder you from the full college experience actually enhances it because you become part of something bigger than yourself. You have responsibilities, which is a good thing. It helps you learn balance in your life. A lot of freshmen and a lot of sophomores, that's their, their biggest challenge to overcome is how to find that balance. And that's what ROTC teaches you. Quantico, Virginia. For six intense weeks after their junior year, Midshipmen step off their campuses and report to the physical and mental proving ground for those who seek to lead Marines. They are now candidates, and this is Officer Candidate School. The best back home may be just good enough to barely make it here. So when you come here, you have to manage uh, your expectations, both for success and for failure. You will fail, you will succeed. How you handle success, and how you handle failure is a demonstration of character as to whether or not you have what it takes to be a Marine officer. I think everyone has doubts that they'll, you know, whether or not they're going to be able to complete the officer candidate school. You have to give 100% of everything that you do while you're here. You can't just disappear among all the camouflage. They pull you out and they give you a job and say, you will lead these candidates. You will be a leader. Upon completion of OCS, candidates return to their campuses with the presence to inspire and the judgment to lead. For one more school year, they will walk the same halls as their college peers, but continue on a unique path. There, there's nothing I'd rather do with my life uh, than become a Marine Corps officer and leading Marines. Whatever I do within the Marine Corps, I know that it'll have a purpose, and I know that it'll affect the bigger picture in some way, shape, or form. Enrolled alongside many, they will soon be counted among the few. Congratulations, Second Lieutenant to Charlie Cup. Willing, able, and ready to take command of Marines. <laughs>